Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this light and lovely coconut flour bread that's low carb, keto, gluten free, paleo. It's just a perfect bread. And as always I've written a blog post which I'll leave down below which has the full recipe and step by step instructions too so click through for that. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, comment too, let me know if you give this coconut flour bread a try and what you think of it. So let me show you how to make it. So first let's talk through all the ingredients and then we will make our bread. I've got coconut flour over here, I've got this huge bag of organic coconut flour, we're going to use three quarters of a cup of coconut flour, there are going to be six eggs in this bread so make sure you've got loads of eggs to use. Uh, the original recipe that I got off the side actually of a coconut flour bag, that's why I'm kind of adapted here, has a tablespoon of raw honey. I'm using a tablespoon of stevia instead, but you could use raw honey. Sugar really depends on your dietary requirements, whatever you like, but for it to be low carb keto friendly, use stevia, but yeah, it's up to you. I am using salt just to balance all the flavors. We've got baking powder just to help our bread rise. I'm using arrowroot, which is a light gluten-free flour alternative that just helps bind everything together. It's, there's only two tablespoons of it. Usually arrowroot used in large amounts isn't low carb keto friendly, but in this recipe, the two tablespoons kind of just go between all the pieces and it's okay, but again, it's up to you. And if you wanna make the bread dairy free, then use coconut oil. If not, then you can use melted butter or you could just choose either. So it's either a half a cup of melted coconut oil or a half a cup of melted butter, which works out to be approximately 113 grams of butter. So it is up to you, whichever you want, but all of the information will be in the blog post down below with a full recipe so you can make the spread whenever you like. So let's get cooking. So I'm going for the option of melted butter. So I'm melting my 113 grams of butter in a saucepan here. And once it's melted, we'll pour it out into a bowl. And as you can tell, the oven is switched on as well. So I've got the oven preheating to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit, and also line a baking tin, a loaf tin with well-greased baking paper. And we'll just get this butter melted. The butter is melted, so we'll just pour it out into the bowl. And now it's just a matter of whisking all the ingredients one at a time. So I'm just using my wire whisk over here. I'm just giving it a whisk first, just to cool it down a bit. Uh, that'll do. And now we're going to whisk in the six eggs. So we'll just whisk all the eggs in. Yep, there are six eggs in the bread. And the six egg going in. And we'll just whisk all those eggs in. go that is beautiful and smooth and now we'll whisk in the salt a good pinch of salt and we'll balance that with just a tablespoon of stevia and whisk that in okay we'll add in a teaspoon of baking powder and two tablespoons of arrowroot Give it all a good whisking. And finally, the coconut flour. We're going to go for three quarters of a cup of coconut flour. I've just got a quarter cup measure and I'm measuring out three of them. So, yeah, three quarters of a cup of coconut flour. Okay, that's perfect. And we'll just whisk it in until we have our bread batter. There you go, you can see it's made a lovely bread batter. Now we'll pop it into our loaf tin. So I've got my loaf tin that I've got lined with well greased baking paper. And we'll just pop the bread mixture in. And just flatten it down. There you go, that looks 
pretty perfect to me and now it's going to go into the oven which again is preheated to 180 degrees celsius which is 350 fahrenheit and pop it in for 40 to 50 minutes really just depends on your oven baking and on how it looks but keep a watch have a look from 40 minutes see how it looks and i will show you once it's done and the bread is out the oven it smells so comforting so I am gonna let it cool allow it to cool completely before cutting into it and then store it in the fridge but I will show you once it's cool and we cut a slice of it my lovely coconut flour bread has chilled completely so it will cut a slice and there you go it's light and fluffy inside and it just is a beautiful bread that you can just spread some butter on you can spread avocado make egg mayo tuna mayo you could pop some of my lovely chia jam on it there are endless options and i'll give a couple of ideas of keto friendly toppings in the blog post as well down below so click through for that and i'd love to hear from you too if you give the bread a try and what you think of it and be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment too let me know if you give this lovely light bread a try and what you think of it so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye